Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Answer and Adventures New Game Minus 5 video, episode 9. And you can see I have E56 antimatter. This is just enough to get four dimension boosts. So it looks like I'm, I'm not able to get Gal the Galactic Sacrifice immediately, but now I can do it. Here it is. Galactic Sacrifice for one galaxy points. This is huge. This is like the first major layer that actually gives you points since Paradox, which I got in episode one. So here we go. Three, two, one, bam. Of, of course, of, of course, there's a confirmation. Um, yeah, it will act like a galaxy reset but will remove all your galaxies in exchange for galaxy points to buy powerful upgrades. It will take a lot of time to recover initially. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, this is the only way I'm going to be able to progress at this point. So, three, two, one, bam. So, this reset, it not only resets all the other stuff, but also resets my paradoxes. This is why it's such a huge reset. However, there's a whole new slew of upgrades. And I have a choice at the beginning. Normal and time dimensions are 99% cheaper, which is pretty good, especially early on. There's also normal and time dimensions produce 100 times faster. And I feel like a 100 times multiplier is better than just 99% cheaper. Because, like, that's going to help later on, especially, and it'll also help earlier on, except maybe the first time dimension shift, let's say. So, I think, I hope I'm making the right choice here, but yeah, here we go, 100 times faster. Everything else is exactly the same as before. As like, what I mean before, I mean episode one. So, yeah, the multipliers are a little higher, but since all my paradox stuff is reset, I just, I just gotta wait, and it's gonna suck, so yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like an hour later, and it looks like we are basically all the way back to the beginning. I made basically zero antimatter, and I guess I'm just gonna grind up to at least two of these time speed is two times faster upgrades, so yeah, this is rough, really rough, but... I'll make it through, so see ya when I can actually get another time speed is faster upgrade. Okay, so I, I missed something here. I unlocked two new tabs be besides from the galaxy tab. This is challenges and automation. We're going to cover automation first. We have technically completed the first challenge, which means that I get a first dimension auto buyer. Now this may seem really good, but because I am permanently trapped inside of challenge two, which is buying anything halts your production, gradually coming back over three minutes, it's actually quite worthless. And I'm basically never going to use it. Because every time it's going to buy it, it's going to reset the thing back to 0%. So, I mean, it might be useful eventually, but yeah. The other thing is that I have unlock unlocked challenges. So, basically, I'm already trapped in a lot of these challenges. I'm trapped inside this one, for example. But the thing is that a second dimension auto buyer is going to be basically as useless as the first dimension auto buyer. I'm also trapped in challenge 10, 11, and 12, which we don't see this because it unlocks something that we haven't really unlocked yet. So um, there's that. So, like, there's normal matter which rises and it seems like the wording is a little different here. If it exceeds your antimatter, it'll act as a dimension boost without the bonus. Basically, that means that the it'll be the loser reset. It'll plus one dimension boost, I think, except instead of minus one, which is interesting. It's not all that different. So yeah, and then I'm also on, I'm also trapped into challenge ten. There are only six dimensions. With Dimension Boost, Tick Speed Boost, and Antimatter Galaxy Cost Modified. I think I might want to go into this one. Because Automated Dimension Boost is actually pretty useful. Unlike some of the other things. Automated Galaxies could be useful, but 
I'm getting a galaxy very, very few times. So I think I'm first going to export my save just to see if these costs have been modified. And also, I see tick speed boosts right from the start now, so that's interesting. But yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try going into challenge 10 and because it's not going to be actually any worse. And this means I do have to basically do a, re a galactic sacrifice reset, but everything else is exactly the same. So I'm basically just going to repeat what I already did. So see in a bit. Okay, I'm back like a day later and I actually found a use for the automation. So I have it active, and basically what, I, what I'm doing is it's buying the gal. It's it's buying this, and it's also buying the time dimension, um, which is also interesting. And doing that allows me to grind the early paradoxes a lot quicker. That's why I have 14 paradoxes. It's enough. It's enough to get quite a few things. I think what I want to go for at this point is well, definitely this because the t 100 billion times. Multiplier seems to be buffed based on my Galactic Sacrificed stat. Which means the more I Galactic Sacrifice, the stronger this upgrade will be. Which is interesting. There's also some other things like Infinity Power Boots, Time Dimensions, that is very useful. I definitely want to get that. Then, there's a few other upgrades. There's this Tick Speed one that's not really, not very good. I'm going to do, instead... Um, dimension multiply increases two times faster and two matter increases slower because I'm going to want to start going a little bit more for a little bit more now. And I'm going to spend the last paradox point on one paradox dimension, which will give me some extra time. I mean, it's not going to be all that much. I'm not really going to be going hard on the um, paradox dimensions, but now hopefully things will be faster. I, I did notice I was getting about maybe eight tick speed upgrades but maybe now with all the this especially the infinity bower being stronger i'm hoping that i'm gonna be able to get some real progression so yeah see in a bit okay i'm back like a couple hours later i actually did two time dimension shifts off camera because those are boring and it looks like well it might be faster, but it doesn't feel faster because I don't have as many Paradox upgrades. So, like, yes, I can do something like, uh, probably, probably get these, get as many of these, these as I can. Should have maybe went for more normal dimensions because those just directly boost my antimatter, but yeah, it's going to be a grind. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do two dimension shifts and then hopefully get something in the neighborhood of 200 paradoxes and that will enable me to get several upgrades so yeah see you in a bit okay i'm back a few hours later i can unlock third dimensions even a little bit of fourth dimensions i don't think i want to buy all of these and get infinity dimensions and i did purchase a few time dimensions here um but yeah, it's a bit of a struggle. I'm not even sure if I can reach the first dimension shift. If that happens, I'll probably it'll just force paradox on me, and I can get some upgrades. Hopefully, maybe some like time speed two times faster. But yeah, new game minus five. It's still like this. I mean, why do I keep recording at this point? See you in a bit. Okay, I'm back like three, four days later. It took quite a while, and you can see. I'm only at like 16.46% here, so I, I'm going to Paradox and definitely focus on getting this multiplier up faster. So here we go, it's just over 256 Paradoxes, 257. So I probably shouldn't buy anything that's 256 exactly. The most important thing here is time speed is two times faster. It makes everything two times faster. So I definitely want that. And then I'm going to want the next two of these. So the Dimension Multiplier increases four times faster. So in all of that, that multiplier is increasing eight times faster. Another good upgrade to get is the add tick speed multiplier increase. It's not all that strong, but I get lots and lots of tick speed upgrades. And then, it, and then also a matter increases slower can be nice. The paradox dimension things aren't very good. However, maybe you'll get one third paradox dimension for it's just four paradoxes and it's enough to 
pretty significantly buff the paradoxes. And I don't really know what I want. I guess I could get something like this. It's decent mul multiplier and it's only eight paradoxes. And I guess I'll do the same here. It's only three paradoxes to get another two times boost. So that's about all I'm going to do for now. These two are just kind of expensive and don't give a very good boost, even after these start getting powerful. And Paradox Dimensions are just not very powerful at all. So this means I'm doing yet another run just exactly the same. And unfortunately, the opportunities get a lot slimmer from here on out because I got, I got a lot of the low-hanging fruit upgrades and... I think what I'm going to want, actually, because it was so powerful last time, I'm probably going to want to do two runs and get this. So, yeah. Seen a bit. Okay, I'm back, like, a couple days later, and I'm right at the end of the run. I can get, again, exactly 365 paradoxes, which is interesting. And... So, yeah, here we go. I, there really isn't anything else I can do here. And I want to get something like Infinity Power Effect that's stronger based on the tick speed multiplier. I probably also want something like Dimension Multiplier Increases two times faster just to speed up the runs. And I don't really need anything else at this point. So, again, very similar run to before. And, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back like an entire week later. I kind of messed it up where I let the matter go over my antimatter again. Well, I was at like 366, but I'm back with 384 paradoxes. So this is finally enough to get this, which apparently someone told me in the comments that this actually, the effect of the upgrade actually increases the exponent of the infinity power from like 7 to... I don't know, like, 20-something, which is kind of crazy. I mean, this it's New Game Minus 5. I actually need that. And hopefully now I'll be able to get all the way up to a galaxy point. So, yeah, seen a bit. Okay, I'm back after getting four time dimension shifts and just two regular dimension shifts. I was considering getting a galaxy, but I realized if I really want to get the one galaxy point, I probably need to do one more paradox. And this is just going to improve this multiplier and get stuff like this. I could even get Time Shards boost Paradox Dimension 3 and 6, but Paradox Dimension is just so weak at this point. But yeah, here we go. 640 Paradoxes gets me these two upgrades with 128 Paradox Despair. And now I should be in the clear to get basically everything because... Now, just, I'm just gonna, I probably don't even need a fourth time dimension shift to unlock an antimatter galaxy. And then after that, I'm going to go do everything I can to get the four dimension shifts. And this made me realize that this upgrade is very useful. Basically, these two upgrades are polar opposites of each other. This upgrade is really useful in the beginning of runs, of like Paradox runs. This upgrade is only useful at the very end of a Galactic Sacrifice run. Because I'm not really going to usually be getting more than two dimension, or more than three dimension shifts. So, yeah. It's pretty interesting stuff. Next episode, I'll hopefully get one of those upgrades. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out. Mm -hmm.